There's another option. Darren Hogan just having a little nod to Kyo. It will be Kyo to take it. And Kyo, it's on target. It's straight into the hands of Sam Sargent. But an indication of, first of all, the confidence in the player and the trust in the player as well from a senior player around him. Benson's corner kick. Paul Doyle makes a dart towards the front post. It's Daryl Hogan at the back now. And Hogan tried to volley it back into the mixer. Here's Patterson now. Nice feet by Patterson if he can keep it in play, and he can. And he's away from Kyo. Kyo was tempted to haul him down, but Patterson keeps going. And he's looking for Parsons here, and he's in. Here's Parsons. Can he finish? He can. And it's a breakaway goal from Waterford. And to talk undone by the pace of Patterson and the finishing of Connor Parsons. It's St. Nil Waterford 1. Yeah, it's a superb goal from Waterford. It's gone from the Dundalk corner the whole way up the field and finished off excellent by Patterson. But it's come here, Dundalk had, had a, a corner routine, Darrell Horgan coming around the back post, couldn't get anything on it. And it was the front three from, from Waterford. But Park Armand headed out to Patterson, showed great pace just here on the left-hand side. And Sean Kyo, maybe if he had been a bit more cynical, maybe he would have, would have taken the yellow card there because... Just that pass there, that's a superb pass. It's inside John Mountain, perfect weighted on it. And then Parr, once he gets in there, Parr makes no mistakes, slots it in the corner. Superb goal from Waterford. Here's Archie Davies. Davies, he's gone away from McMenemy into the feet of Owen Kenny. Maybe played it with a little bit too much pace. The Kenny made it difficult for him. In again, it goes towards Davies, edge of the penalty area. Archie oh, Davies save, with the shot. Save. Down goes Sam Sargent to save. It's good play, but the first but wasn't a very nice pass in. in. The Kenny couldn't deal with it, but once it's come back again, he's played a little one-two this time. And he's took it well. I think there's a suspicion of handball on the edge of the box for Archie Davis as the ball popped up, but he struck it quite well. But good position by, by Sam Sargent. He got down to his right-hand side and some other... Johnson. Straight to Kenny, but Rakowski is there to dispossess. And that's helped on now by McCormick. Here's Patterson, right-hand side. He's got support from Dara Power. Power has done well to cut inside of O'Kane. Here's a chance, and it's, well, it's deflected by Zach Johnson. It was Ben McCormick arriving on the edge of the penalty area for Waterford, and really that might have been two, and it was another example of that Waterford pace in attack. Yeah, it's, again, it's superb play, so incisive. As the ball's on the way outside to Patterson, Power's just on his bike straight away. He knows he's, he's going to get Good possession of the ball. He's really taking the opportunity yeah. to have a quick word with his young left back with this stoppage in play. It'll be a corner kick for the dog. Left footed by Robbie Benson, and that's come off the head of Rakowski and gone behind for a, another corner kick for the dog. But I'm not entirely sure he knew exactly what he was doing with that. Kasper no. Rakowski. Anytime you can, you can get it away, it's, it's good defending, but he, he was quite fortunate. He's in a bit of a tussle with it. But Hayden Muller was, I think he's reorganisation in this one. Mountney with a word for Johnson. He just ran on inside. He said, get your hand at the end of this. <laughs> Corner kick for the dock and it's in towards Muller and it is Mountney. And it's saved by Sargent and he needed two attempts to get it on the control and to get a grab on it. Sam Sargent and, well, whatever John Daly said, it almost <laughs> worked. The players we were talking about involved in that job. Yeah, it's again, another decent ball in. But as it's just kind of beating everyone. John Mountney, he's, he's nearly coming right round the back of Archie Davis to get a toe on it. Just Sean Kyo. No Archie Davies. Kyo wants it back again. He's in the middle still. Davies has spotted Benson. Benson for Daryl Hogan. No offside flag. Daryl Hogan up against Leahy. Hogan digs out the cross. It's a really good one. Oh. And John Mountney's in there. But can't keep it down. John Mountney attacking that one. Wonderful cross from the right-hand side by Daryl Hogan. And John Mountney was attacking at the Dundalk captain. Yeah, again, it was positive playing. Sean Kyo was involved in the middle of it. Once the ball's come out to Horgan, looks like he's shaping up just over the wall into the keeper's right hand side. Ross Munro on high alert, the Dundalk goalkeeper. Here it comes, it will be McMenemy. Oh, and he's tucked that away brilliantly, Dean McMenemy. And Munro dives in the right direction but couldn't get close enough to it, right in the corner by McMenemy. And it's Dundalk nil, Waterford two, and what a blow that is for Dundalk right before half time. Yeah, it's a, it's a really good strike, but the keeper has to be asked questions there. It, it's his side, whether he has his, his wall set up correctly or he, he's taking a step to his, to his right. We, we can't really see, but it's, it's gone in the side he's supposed to be defending. It's gone in low. Really good strike, but 
Here's Ben McCormick over the free kick for Watford. McCormick's free kick, and it's in towards Pora Carmond. And that's just outside the post. And that really should be three. And you really do expect Pora Carmond in that position to make that side of the net ball, Sean. Yeah, it's, it's a really good ball in. Good movement by Armand. But he's turned himself. He's just got it. Got away from Muller. Very calmly to Paul Doyle. Here's Benson. Benson. Wasn't quite sure where it was, but somehow it worked out for Dundalk, and now it's with Archie Davies. Davies over the halfway line to the feet of Kenny, looking to return it again. Here's Davies once more. Hawkins in the middle, arriving on the edge. Here's John Mountney. Mountney with the shot, and he's thrown it just outside. Mountney and Robbie Mahan over this one. It'll be Robbie Mountney. Or it'll be Mountney rather with the shot at goal. And is it in? No. And Sargent once again denies Dundalk. Daryl Hawkins. He's offside, he, isn't he? He was offside anyway. And that might just save his blushes because perhaps he should have converted then. Yeah, it's a good strike from John. He, he got, he's gotten around the wall. And it's, a, it's a comfortable enough save. You'd expect Sargent to make, but he's just fumbled the first one, but he's so brave. Can he find a fourth and give Dundalk the slenderest of lifelines here? Benson shot a goal, and it's another great save by Sam Sargent. Here's that free kick from Robbie Benson again, John. Yeah, he's done really well. Great technique. Got up and over the wall and a flying save by Sargent. And there is the final whistle from the referee, and it is the visiting team who've taken the points. Waterford doing the damage in the first half with Connor Parsons and Dean McMenemy with the two goals. The Dock huffed and puffed in the second, enjoyed plenty of possession in both halves. But Waterford, for much of it, looked relatively comfortable and collect all three points here, John.